Hello. Patrick McKay and J.D. Payne, the creators of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power Season 2, discuss King Durant's destiny in the climactic sequence and his interaction with the Balrog. The popular Lord of the Rings television series on Prime Video wrapped up its second season last week, with tensions between Prince Durin and his father reaching a breaking point. The show had returned in August. In the second season finale of The Rings of Power, the younger Durin approaches the king before the Balrog breaks them up. After lunging an axe at the hideous creature, King Durin eventually perishes. McKay and Payne, who discuss how this pivotal moment for the character came to pass in The Rings of Power season 2 finale, originally intended the image of King Durin leaping towards the Balrog for season 1. McKay says that the scene was difficult solely on a technical level in terms of lighting and the set they had constructed, in addition to making it work from a storytelling standpoint and feeling earned. Patrick McKay, to be honest, this was one of the show's trickiest scenes to execute technically. Since that set is a cave, shooting in it is really challenging. It's dark in a cave, right? However, the Mithril, or Tolkien or, in the mind sort of shimmers. Thus, the lighting is intricate. The complete gear was designed by our cinematographer, Alex Dissenhoff, to make them shine blue like the moonlight before changing to orange. J.D. Payne, it's definitely a gorgeous look. As the blue turns orange and the audience hopes for the worst, Peter Mullen's King's face shows it. Five years ago, in the first writer's room in Santa Monica, an image of the king leaping into the void and giving his life to give the kingdom more time by putting the genie back in the bottle appeared. And Durin IV's final image of his father is that of a dwarf leaping with his axe in honor of the hero. Mc McKay says that the scene was difficult solely on a technical level in terms of lighting and the set they had constructed, in addition to making it work from a storytelling standpoint and feeling earned. Patrick McKay, to be honest, this was one of the show's trickiest scenes to execute technically. Since that set is a cave, shooting in it is really challenging. It's dark in a cave, right? However, the mithril, or Tolkien or, in the mind sort of shimmers. Thus, the lighting is intricate. The complete gear was designed by our cinematographer, Alex Dissenhoff, to make them shine blue like the moonlight before changing to orange. J.D. Payne, it's definitely a gorgeous look. As the blue turns orange and the audience hopes for the worst, Peter Mullen's King's face shows it. Five years ago, in the first writer's room in Santa Monica, an image of the king leaping into the void and giving his life to give the kingdom more time by putting the genie back in the bottle appeared. The entire Khazad-dum may be in danger in the upcoming episodes due to the Balrog's arrival, which has been hinted at since season 1. This was revealed in the season 2 finale. The waking of this beast causes the minds of Moria to be finally abandoned, as seen in The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, 2001. This huge dwarf evacuation may take place in Season 3. In the Mines of Moria, the Balrog famously faced off against Gandalf. However, this recognizable Lord of the Rings creature's history dates back much further. Khazad-dum has been around for a while thanks to King Durin III's devotion, but McKay says that this magnificent country will eventually crumble. The Rings of Power Season 3 will likely depict Durin IV suffering with his new duty as king and perhaps struggling against the dark magic of the ring, just as his father did. The Balrog is set to play a considerably bigger role in Season 3 and beyond after lurking as a menace in the background for the majority of the first two seasons due to Durin III's overly eager and deep digging. Eventually, the Balrog from Season 2 of the Rings of Power is referred to as Durin's Bane. It takes thousands of years for the beast to be defeated, and it is Gandalf who strikes the last blow atop Durin's tower. Our view on the death of King Durin III in the Rings of Power throughout the Rings of Power Season 2, Durin III has essentially played the role of antagonist, turning dangerous for everyone around him when he dons the ring. Even if Khazad-dum's entire realm is now doomed due to his corruption, his last moments on screen demonstrate that he is ultimately a sorrowful man. In the end, his love for his people triumphed, and he removed the ring and offered himself as a sacrifice, maybe ending further tragedies. Season 2's dwarf plot has been one of its strongest points overall, and Durin 3's demise over the entire season is evidence of how formidable and destructive these rings of power are. The TV format has made it possible for Khazad-dum's demise to come gradually and forebodingly, as well as for both Durin's to develop into intriguing and multifaceted personalities. Even if the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power still raises a lot of issues, Durin 3's deeds, both beneficial and bad, will undoubtedly have a significant impact.